Hello and welcome to this very exciting tutorial. Today I will show you how to convert a real physical model into a 3D model using the Clone app After Effects and Element 3D. After downloading Clone, you have to print out the so-called AR mat. The app guides you through the scanning process. The AR dome that is projected over the object is the progress indicator for the capture. Let's not waste time and speed things up. Once the scanning is done, the app shows a preview with textures. Not bad. Once you are satisfied with the result, you can export the object. For the usage with After Effects and Element 3D, I would recommend the data format OBJ. The export of models requires you to either buy credits or a subscription. I chose the one-time purchase option for unlimited exports. You can send the exported model to your own email address and download it on your computer in the model folder of Element 3D. Open After Effects, create a composition with the size of your choice and create a solid layer. Mark your solid layer and search for Element under the Effects and Presets. After applying Element on your solid layer, click on Scene Setup to open Element 3D. Now, search for your imported model under the Model Browser. Select Use Auto Normals and click on OK. Now you can see a preview of your model, but it has no texture yet. Click on your model under the scene menu. Click on Material. Now click on Diffuse and import your texture. The texture is imported together with the model. The texture is automatically created and exported by the Clone app. Create a camera with a focal length of your choice and click OK. Set up some lights. Now you can create your landscape around your model. Just be creative. Set up some lights. For this surrealistic looking scene, I chose colorful lights, one blue and one purple one. You can choose different light settings to create a more realistic scene. For adding more details to the scene, I chose some stones from the Element 3D starter pack. For saving time with the rocks, I grouped them under Group 2. Select Group 2 and change the replicator shape to plane. Now increase the particle count. Increase the shape scale to spread them over the whole landscape. Play with the position values to place them on the right spot. In the drop-down menu of Particle Look, click on Particle Rotation and Rotation Random to give them a more randomized look. For this scene, I'm creating a very iconic sky. Create a yellow solid and place it under the Element 3D layer. Now create a red solid, place it over the yellow solid and draw a simple mask. Leave a bit of the yellow solid visible below. Do the same with blue and a black solid. Select all the colorful solids and create a subcomposition. Call it Sky. 
Apply the effect Gaussian Blur on the sky layer. Increase the strength of the blur until you are satisfied with the result. I added more details to the scene using the same technique, like for the rocks. When you are satisfied with your composition, you can add shadows and ambient occlusion to make your scene looking more realistic. Go under Render Settings in the Element 3D drop-down menu. Go under Shadows and set a tick next to Enable. Select the shadow mode Ray Traced. Now select Ambient Occlusion and set a tick next to Enable AO. Finally, I added some camera movement. If you want to buy the model I used for this video or the final rendered scene, please click the link under the video. Please click the like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my videos.